Good day, my name is John Melroy Fernandez, lecturer at Department of Interior Design and Decoration, Milagres College, Mangalore. So today we are here to discuss about uh, the topic that is bricks. Uh, here we will discuss about the types of bricks and even the classes of bricks. So firstly about the bricks. So how these bricks are uh, manufactured? So they are manufactured by molding it into a uh, rectangular block or uh, which is of a uniform size so and then it is uh, sent to the drying process and then uh, it is burnt inside a kiln so kiln is a rectangular uh, cylindrical uh, uh, cylinder so inside uh, which uh, the temperature various uh, uh, temperature will be uh, produced inside it uh, which will be helpful for the uh, bricks to get burned so and uh, the clay is a uh, plastic earth so con which is constituted uh, largely of uh, sand and the alumina so which traces of uh, chalk and iron manganese dioxide etc so good bricks should be thoroughly burned so that they become hard and durable so satisfactory burning of bricks is ascertained by hardening and hard ringing sound emitted when the two bricks are stuck together so the brick should be free from the cracks and uh, large particles of lime also so it should be uh, free from all the large particles of uh, lime as well and it should be free from the cracks so next uh, coming to the strength of the brick masonry so strength of the brick masonry uh, chiefly depends upon uh, the various uh, qualities so quality of the bricks the next one that is the quality of uh, motor the method of uh, bonding used so there are various uh, types of uh, bonds which is used in the uh, brick masonry like uh, english bond flemish bond uh, the brick bonds so there are uh, various uh, bonds which is involved so unbonded wall even constructed with a good quality bricks are good and good quality motor has little strength and the stability too sometimes this um, brick masonry is uh, preferred over other types of masonry so due to the following reasons so those are uh, so all the bricks are of uniform size and shape and hence they can be easily laid in definite pattern so when you talk about bricks so bricks are uh, uh, however uh, molded into particular uh, rectangular uh, uh, shape uh, which will have uh, same uh, uniform uh, size of all the bricks so that is one of the uh, main uh, reason so we use uh, bricks for and next uh, point that is uh, brick units are uh, light in weight and small in size so hence these can be easily handled by brick layers by the hand so next uh, bricks do not need any dressing so as uh, for the stones we need uh, once we cut the stones uh, once we quarry the stones from the uh, quarrying process so then it is to be uh, dressed properly so before uh, it is used by the mason so here uh, bricks uh, we do not need any kind of dressing the art of brick laying can be understood very easily and even unskilled masons can do the brick masonry so stone masonry construction requires highly skilled masons so the art of brick laying can be understood uh, very easily so even uh, the unskilled masons can uh, can work and uh, in this bricks so which is uh, for the stone masonry construction which will require a highly skilled masons so next uh, point we have the bricks are easily available at all the sides so unlike stones which are available only at the quarry site so due to this they do not require transportation from the long distance so stones will be available uh, in some places uh, so it will vary from place to place so but uh, when it comes to the bricks so that can be available in the site at all the site itself so ornamental works also can be done with uh, easily uh, with the bricks so the light partition walls and the filled walls which can easily be constructed in the brick masonry so when you talk about the inner partition wall so you can uh, have uh, instead of having the stone uh, uh, with the wall which is constructed with the stone uh, you can have a light partition wall which is constructed uh, with the brick so it will even uh, reduce the thickness of the wall as well and uh, 
even uh, you will uh, save more space so this is uh, about the bricks so next uh, we move on to the types of bricks so bricks uh, which is used in masonry so that those are of two types one is the uh, traditional bricks and one more is the modular bricks so traditional bricks so traditional bricks are those uh, which have not been standardized in size so this uh, traditional bricks are uh, not according to the standard size so this uh, the size of this uh, traditional bricks will vary from place to place so their length varies from 20 to 25 cm the width varies from 5 to 7.5 cm and the thickness varies from 5 cm to 7 uh, 7 uh, thickness varies from 5 cm to 7.5 cm so the commonly adopted nominal size of the traditional uh, brick is 23 cm uh, by 11.4 centimeter by 7.6 centimeter so which comes in inches if you if you want to tell it that will come up to uh, approximately 9 uh, inches by 4.5 inches by 3 inches approximately so that is uh, about the traditional bricks when uh, coming to the modular bricks so modular uh, uh, bricks are uh, conformed to the size which is laid by the Bureau of Indian Standard Institution. So any brick which is of the same uniform size laid down by the BIS is known as the modular brick. So the nominal size of the modular brick that is 20 cm by 10 cm by 10 cm. So while the actual size of the brick is 19 cm by 9 cm by 9 cm so the nominal size which will include the motor uh, after the construction of the wall so the masonry uh, modular bricks are economical to the manufacturer so requires a less area for drying and uh, staking as well uh, and requires a less brick work for the same surface of the area when compared to the traditional bricks so in comparison to the convectional bricks the masonry with the modular bricks will require uh, will work out uh, the cheaper as compared to the traditional kind of bricks so this is uh, about the two main uh, types of bricks next uh, coming to the classes of bricks so quality wise masonry bricks are classified into three classes that is the first class second class and the third class so in first class bricks so those uh, which are strictly conformed to the standard size of the modular bricks though that is uh, as uh, just now i have explained you all that is 19 centimeter by 9 centimeter by 9 centimeter for the actual size of the bricks so without uh, adding the motor to it so such that uh, the 10 layers of brick laid in motor will form masonry of one meter height so if you construct a wall of a 10 layer of the bricks which is laid in mortar will form the masonry of one meter height so good bricks are manufactured by the good quality bricks uh, good quality uh, plastic earth which is free from the saline deposit so they are good uniform color they are well burnt hard ringing sound is emitted when two bricks are struck together so that is about the uh, first class bricks so next uh, coming to the so even uh, one more uh, point we have that is they have straight edges and even surfaces they are free from the cracks chips and the flows and nodules of the lime so when immersed in water for one hour they do not absorb water more than one sixth of their actual weight on drying so they do not show any sign in the efflorescence okay next uh, coming to the second class bricks so second class bricks also conforms to the uh, standard size but they are slightly irregular in shape and the color so they are also fully burnt and ringing sound is emitted when two bricks are uh, struck together but when it is immersed immersed in uh, water for one hour so they do not absorb water more than one fourth of their weight so that is about the second class bricks next uh, coming to the last one
which we have that is the third class bricks so these are uh, one which are quite irregular in their size and shape and which is uh, not uh, finished uh, uh, in a good finish which is not given a good finish so they are not burnt fully due to which they are of a reddish yellow color so these bricks have the crushing uh, strength they are not uh, used for the quality brick masonry so this is uh, all about the bricks thank you